Welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time blue guitar pedal show. My name is Gabor. <laughs> hey, welcome along. I'm Alex. This is the Fano Omnis MG6. I'm sure you know that because he clicked the video. Yes. Uh, before we get into some sounds, if you could hit like and subscribe, I'm scared the dog. Dog's out of here. Please like and subscribe on the video and give us a thumbs up, ding the notification bell, all that stuff would be cool. Please do, please do. And before we even start, just want to mention this guitar was provided by the good folks at Fano. Mm. So big thank you to the good folks at Fano. Uh, because I'm especially thankful because I really, really like this guitar. That helps. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if you've watched our channel over the last, I don't know, year at least, mm. it's been a while. We're a bit slow with these videos sometimes. I reckon I've used this guitar in almost every single video since I've, since I got just it. Just about, yeah. Just about every single video. At least four. <laughs> at least there's definitely more than four. No, I reckon in at 98% of all the videos we've done since this guitar came. And there's one random one. Yeah. Um, so this is the, uh, a guitar that I, I really, really dig it. Uh, it's just become just about my go-to guitar now. I used to have my Red Jazzmaster. That was pretty much my... Go first to. guitar that I pick up when sure. a new pedal comes or something like that. Now it's this. So it's, uh, okay, for people that don't know, so Fano Guitars, originally run by Dennis Fano, then he sold it to other people who are currently, I guess, running it. Fano still makes all handmade guitars, um, a very small group of makers, if not only one guy. I'm not quite sure how it works, but they make still these super high-end, US-made, super custom guitars. But they, a few years ago, decided to make a more affordable run of guitars, uh, which is the Omni series. So the Omni series is made in China. So this particular one is made in China uh, to their specs, yep. um, but at a more affordable price point, right? And and not super expensive. I think they're about in Australia sixteen, seventeen hundred Australian dollars. So not super cheap, but not super expensive guitars. Um, it is an older body guitar with a maple neck with a Palfero fretboard. Yep. Uh, it's the only guitar I have that has a compound radius, nine and a half to 12 inch radius. Oh, really? And I didn't even realize it had it until I looked it up. But once you do know it, you, don't know, you do notice it, that it has sure. a compound radius. And I do like yeah. the compound radius. I've got some other guitars with compound radius. They're cool, hey? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's got pretty big frets. What do they say? What kind of frets is it? Does it say? Silver color. Um, silver color, no, just size. Nick, just as nickel hardware. Uh, oh, a Jessica medium jumbo nickel silver frets, twenty-two of them. Uh, it says it's got an, an early '60s C-shaped profile. What are your thoughts on the neck? The like the feel. It's cool. It's kind of. It's not super fast and like wizardy, but it's. It's got. It's a little bit of oomph to it. Slightly bigger than thin. <laughs> That's, that sounds it's good. Vague, it? I'd say it's a medium the, C. The first thing that it sort of reminded me of when I picked it up was my J Mascus Jazzmaster. Sure. It's sort of in the feel, that kind of satin finish. Yep. It's sort of a, it's like a satin kind of finish. Um, and that same sort of, it, it, not a fat neck, but it's a bigger neck. There's definitely a little bit more there. Um, what was it called? Satin Vintage Ember Tint is the back um, with a 10 degree headstock pitch. Hmm. Degrees. degrees. Um, we've got what else do we have to go? Aged white perlite dot inlays, twenty five and a half inch scale scale length, uh, one point six five inch composite string nut, uh, nickel hardware, vintage six in line tuners. Ah, oh, pickups. Okay, so they call them Fano pro uh, proprietary designed and spec P nineties. Now these are super high output put output output. Yeah. I think one of the highest output guitars that we have on the channel. Yeah, we've got another, like a single cut Les Paul type guitar we do demos with, and it beats that. It always... Punchy out loud. Every other guitar is kind of clean, mm. and then I play this, and then people go, oh, it's not a clean sound, but I mean, we just don't change. It just pushes the amp. Uh, I really, really, really like those pickups. Mm -hmm. uh, let's have a quick, quick sound check. Sure. So you basically got uh, volume tone, three-way switch, the two pickups. I never use the bri the trem. Okay. Um, I used to use it a little bit, but I just don't get along with those Strat style sure. trims. I just have it screwed in all the way. It sits right on the body, doesn't move. Kind of like cool. a you know 
hardtail kind of thing. So bridge pickup, which is what I use 99.9% .9 of the time. Um, sounds like this. sweet it's it's big and loud and and overdrives but it's a sweet sounding pickup i really like it like compared to your p90s guitar your p has much more of a honk to it sure this i don't know i it's i really like i i like everything about this guitar really but the bridge pickup has become that's one of my favorite places to go to Now the neck is really quite dark, almost too dark, in my opinion at times. But um, well, you've got to sort of adjust things. But again, lovely sort of jazzy sound. That was the wrong key. It's very fat and warm sound, and then you've got both. It's like the Guitar Speak podcast intro song. Yeah. yeah. Go and check that out. Um, Nice funky sound. To me, it's, it's it's a really versatile guitar, even though I mostly sit on the one pickup. Mm -hmm. But it can play lots of different styles. I really dig it. There's two things for me I dig. Um, one is the really nice edge work on the frets. Fret work's great. Yeah. That's great. Rolled off, very nicely rolled off. Oh, he's, he's going away. Oh. And this thing. Quality gig bags. It's not that hard to do, people. No. Found no. to do it really well. Yeah. Comes with a great gig bag. Um, you can put your guitar in there or little brother or sister. Or the dog. Or the dog. Hey, dog. Making the camera shake again. Um, yeah. And it, it, it should also mention. Right. Okay. So it came set up really quite well. Yeah. Um, it had. I like heavier strings. Mm -hmm. So I always put heavier strings on it. And one thing I noticed is that the. Um, on the bridge here, all the saddles are pretty much as down as far as they would go. So one of the first things I did um, after I got the guitar, and not necessarily because um, it really needed to be done, but uh, I always because I put always put heavier strings on it anyway. And I'm a jazz master guy who always shims the neck. Pretty much every jazz master, first thing you do is you shim the neck. I put a little shim in the neck, uh, which then brought all of them up to a, you know more comfortable you see that was the only you could kind of feel that a little bit you know the, yeah. the little screws yep now it's kind of all gone it's set up super easily i don't know if i even touched a truss rod um it's set up beautifully uh it stays in tune really well and now it's got a heavier 11 to 49s that i usually use on this guitar on it so it it it, it took a little bit of finessing but not it wasn't necessary mm -hmm. um i just kind of did it um, it's a killer guitar. I really, really dig it. Very cool. Uh, and let's check out another clip of us playing, one of us playing this guitar. <laughs>
So, about the clips. Now, uh, we used, uh, I used the Past Effects Canberra. There's a video for it here in that, in that video, mm. which sounded really cool. It was one of those, we plugged it in, didn't touch any of the settings. So it was whatever the last settings were set to. Yep. Sounded killer. That's what I used it on. And you used... Uh, the Boss Fuzz, the FZ1W, their kind of new fuzz thing. There's a video for that here as well. And, um, yeah, I really like this in the low gain settings. kind of has this, like, yeah. angry overdrive thing going on. So that's what I used, and um, that's how we got the sounds. But so this is a guitar I use predominantly. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts all up? I think it's very good value for money, if you like that offset thing. Um, the finish is great, especially the fretwork. There's no sharp edges and things going on. It's pretty, I mean, finish, um, for me, yeah. right, just mm. my, my five cents. Um, I used to work in a music shop, used to get, um, you know, not custom shop level, but higher end US spec guitars, guitars <laughs> by big brands yeah. that start with F, start with G, start with P. Um, the guitars that started with P were always flawless. Mm -hmm. and had three letters in them. The guitars that start with F and it start with G in particular always had some major issues, or not major issues, but there were always issues. Almost all of them had an issue. Right. The one that start with F has gotten better lately, but when I worked in the shop, mm -hmm. you know, there were some quality control issues. Uh, so I've played guitars that I reckon are about mm. three times the price of this yep. that I reckon were nowhere near as good. See the dog. The dog doesn't like the uh, tennis ball went under the rack. Yeah, um, I think yeah. I've played. You know, again, and I'm not talking custom shop level. Hmm. I'm talking production, about the high end factory production stuff coming out of the yeah. US, which some brands, especially ones starting with G, hmm. you literally are looking at three times the price of this. Yeah, um, and the quality of the fretwork, the you know, just it just wasn't there. Um, so I reckon, for me personally, this if you would give this guitar to me, I wouldn't look at the sign that says Made in China on it. Mm. I just play it. I would think it would be a fairly high-end US-made guitar. I would not think of it as a Chinese budget guitar. What do you guys think? Do you dig it? Do you have one? Do you have some ominous guitars? Or a, a proper Fano. Mm. One of the, the super Fano Fano. Fancy Fano. Fancy Fano. Yeah, what do you think? Uh, comments <laughs> below. And, um, oh, and, 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 this is cool. I'll show uh, a closer picture, picture of that too. But the, the, the F hole F yep. on that thing. That's cool. The Fano F. Uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. A lot of links below to Instagram, Facebook, and a podcast. We've got all that stuff going on on the internet. You can find it on the World Wide Web. Yeah, it's a, it's a new thing, but you may have heard of it. And um, from us and the dog, we'll see you soon. Catch ya.